Hey guys, today it's going to be another keto video of one of my keto meals from when I was doing keto. Um, as I stated before, I have a few videos that I took down from YouTube when I had my keto channel. So before I deleted my channel, I took down, I think all of the videos, maybe I didn't, but I did have, do have some. And periodically I like to pop them in just to give those of you that are interested in, in keto or maybe doing keto that might want to, you know, a couple of keto ideas of how of um, things that could be prepared or foods that could be prepared. So today it's going to be um, another keto video and I'm going to show them until I'm done with all of my older videos. I'm still going to upload my mukbang videos of eating regular food as well until I'm done with those but I'm also very very close to starting my uh, keto journey back so hope you guys enjoy it and hope you uh, like the meal and if you haven't never tried it before that you prepare it stay tuned hey guys Veronica here and I am going to make some pizza balls today and we're gonna try to form them in the shape of a little tree so the ingredients are mozzarella cheese, almond flour, baking powder, one egg, and pepperonis. So now what I'm going to do is I've already measured out my mozzarella cheese and that's 10 ounces. So this is 10 ounces of mozzarella cheese. And what I need to do, I have to put it in the microwave so it can melt and put it uh, melted for 30 seconds in, in 30 second increments until it's melted nicely. And once I do that, once I get it melted, um, I'll come back. Okay, all together, I heated it for 90 seconds total, but I just did it in 30 second increments. And it's nice and melted. So now you add your egg. And you mix that up. Mix that egg in there well. That nice and incorporated. Okay. I got the egg all mixed now. Okay, now it's time to add the other ingredients, which is the almond flour and the baking powder. So it's going to be five ounces of almond flour. And we're going to use, I should have measured all the ingredients out first, but we'll be back. I'm going to measure this out. Okay, I measured out the five ounces of almond flour. Now I'm going to put the one tablespoon of baking powder into this almond flour. And I'm going to add some Italian seasoning. And I'm going to add a little garlic powder. I'm going 
going to swish it a little bit with my hands. Get out a little bit of the, some of those knots that came that's in the almond flour. Switch it around just a tad. Okay, now I'm going to mix all the ingredients together to form a dough. So I'm pouring an almond flour mixture into the bowl with the cheese and the one egg. With the 10 ounces of cheese and the one egg. You just have to mix that thoroughly until it forms into a dough. This looks like something you may have to use your hand for. Smells like pizza, like pizza already. You can smell the seeds, like the Italian flavor mixed with that garlic. It already smells Italian. And see, it's already formed into like a, a dough already. So now, what you would need to do, more than like you would want a bowl of water, because you need to keep your hands moist and so the dough would not, won't stick to your hands so much. So I'm going to get a bowl of water, and then we're going to start uh, working towards roll, mixing these out and rolling them into bowls and make a little tree so we can put it in the oven. Okay, guys, I have this on some parchment paper, the dough, and I'm going to put another piece of parchment paper on the top of it because we need to roll these out flat, roll this dough out flat so we can cut some little pieces off to make some little balls and make it into some ball, balls. And I said one tablespoon of gar of um, baking powder. I meant one teaspoon of baking powder, not um, a tablespoon. It's one teaspoon of garlic powder. I'm sorry, one teaspoon of baking powder. I don't know what's going on with me today. So I will repeat the ingredients. The ingredients are 10 ounces of mozzarella cheese, 5 ounces of almond flour, 1 teaspoon of baking powder, and 1 egg. And you mix the mozzarella cheese in a bowl and you put it in the microwave for 30 second increments until it's melt really nicely. And then you add the egg and you blend the egg into it. Once you blend the egg into it, you will add the almond flour, baking powder, and some Italian seasonings in another bowl. And then you mix that all in and blend it all together until it forms into a dough. And then you get to this part where you're going to roll out the almond, roll out the dough flat. So you can cut it into slices and roll it up into balls. I think it's flat enough. I don't think it's supposed to be too, too, too thin. Okay. So now, I'm going to get a pan. And I'm going to put the pan inside of here because I'm going to use that parchment paper. I'm going to lay it on the parchment paper. And I'm going to start cutting it. I don't have a lot of room I'm working with since I got the camera, my um, tripod on the table. But you can cut it like into pieces like this.
and cut into slices like that. Okay, you can cut in a slice like that, and what you will do is you will take a little cheese, and you don't want to put too much stuff in it because you want to be able to close it off. And I have some pepperonis here. And it seems like I can't get open. Slice the pepperoni up and just take a piece of it because they are they're small. So you can put like a little piece of pepperoni. You put as much as you want in it that you can fit into it. But like I said, I want these to be small. And you roll that over and close it as best as you can. Because once you get it closed, then you can start it to roll it into a ball in your hand. And that's where the water comes in. You dip your hand in water and you roll them out into balls. Set it off with your hand and close it up. And you roll it into a ball like so. Just roll it into a little small ball. And that's what you're going to do with all of them. You're going to roll them up into a ball, and then you form out the shape of your little tree or whatever you're going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and roll these up, and then I'll be back when it's done, before it goes in the oven. Okay, guys, there it is, my little tree. And I'm going to baste it with some melted butter, garlic powder, and Italian seasoning before I put it in the oven. Okay, so now it's basted it and we're going to put it in the oven on 350. The oven is already preheated until they're golden brown and then we'll be back when they're ready to taste them. Okay guys, here it is, the finished product. And it looks similar to a little tree. And I'm going to add some mozzarella, uh, not mozzarella, but Parmesan cheese. I'm just going to sprinkle some all over the top. Maybe that's a little bit too much in one spot, but yeah. Sprinkle some Parmesan cheese on it. And I'm going to break one apart. I just took it out of the oven, but I'm going to break one apart. I'll try this one at the bottom. And they pull right off. They pull right apart. And I have some marinara sauce. It's the low-carb marinara sauce. This is pretty expensive. This is $6 and something a jar. I'm going to dip it in the marinara sauce and hopefully don't burn my mouth. Mmm. Another success. 
Add some cheese and add the pepperoni. That's really good. Mm. Okay, guys, that's it. For the piece of ball tree, they pull right off, so. You got to try it. It's really good. It's really good. Really easy. Very little ingredients. Try it and let me know how yours came out, how you taste and what you think. See you in the next video. Hey guys, I wanted to come back to show you the marinara sauce steak that I used. The marinara sauce is called Rio's. And, um,. It's very keto friendly. I guess that's why it costs so much. It was um, six dollars and something a jar, and it, the carb count is really one gram of carb for half a cup because it has um, it says total sugars. So maybe it's four grams of carbs. Let's see if we can get a good angle on that. I hope you can see it. I need to move it back a little. But this is the sauce that everybody's using because it's so low carb and it's keto friendly. And I must say it is very good. This is my very first time trying this uh, marinara sauce. This is my very first time fixing the recipe that I just fixed. But the sauce is really good. It's like a really good combination. It tastes great together. I've already ate, eaten about four or five pieces and I think I'm going to eat two more before I stop but it's really good guys you have to try this okay I just wanted to come back and show you the Rio's uh, marinara sauce because it's a great combination so we'll see you in the next video